Oh, just think about all the pretzels gone. All the stuff. It's all gone. Isn't it? No. See one, do I? Now, now that I know to make spretzel. Now, now make you can make it for breakfast. Instead of, for breakfast. instead of crepes, it'll be spretzel. Oh, yeah, we need yeah. to do that crepe test. Yeah, we have to, have to do the crepe test. We have to do the crepe Charles wants off. to have a pizza off. Oh, yeah. Come on, Paul. With no one in particular, just Paul a pizza off. Paul is the off. pizza king. I just want to hey, show off sure. my domination over pizza really making. Good. Yeah, for the. I haven't had one. That's for pizza. Pizza Paul is the pizza king. Whoa! Basil you want to do a pizza? Love pizza, pizza. Yeah. cook off. Whoa! I love how he's like, he's like going um, a little bit. My own. I'm gonna do the haka to intimidate you at first. Whoa! I thought he was doing a little bit on each page. Like, New Zealand pizza. Like marking his territory. Maori pizza. <laughs> It's like, yeah, uh, so that's mine. Why don't you start pizza? <laughs> now it's the next page. Are you up for it? This it one's it? mine pizza. too. Sure. I'm gonna do my world famous Caspian. Caspian pizza? Wow, what's in a Caspian pizza? It's, uh, it's, uh, do you remember? It, or it, it's paradise. <laughs> it's paradise uh, on a crust. There's some uh, goulash wrapped over here. It's a thin it's crust with pinch of oh, sauce. There's it's scallops liquid and, that um, I don't want thrown away. In that other bowl, can we say that? Do I put the meat? Oh no, it's no, um, the, what the cheese. Thing. The cheese we like um, uh, smoked um, gouda. No, well, it's kind of a gouda. The cheese we love so much. I'm addicted to it. It is. I think it's good. Day. Day. Are you going to bed? Yeah. Go to it's bed. We just, we had, oh, I got some more wine. It's nine o'clock, Charles. You can go to bed. If uh, Jill goes to bed. Oh, it is nine o'clock. But you can't go to bed before anybody else who lives in this time zone. That's the rule. Yeah. I'm good for another two hours, at least. Okay, okay, so. Me and Paul, right, Paul? Yeah. It's minus 28 in Ottawa. In Ottawa? My uh, parents say hello. Oh yeah, I talked to them yesterday. They said hello. They wanted to say hi to everybody. It's minus twenty-eight centigrade. Yeah. Mm. And negative forty centigrade is the same as negative forty Fahrenheit. I sent a picture to. Oh, you did? That's so cute. Wait, show that to my dad. Oh wow! Yeah, that's. That's great. at the Vegas oh. airport. Are you in Vegas today? Yeah, I wouldn't get. We almost a didn't bit. come. Yeah, that's a, yeah, yeah. One time I was in the Vegas airport, I was hitting a run on the slot machines. I almost missed my plane. <laughs> See, Charlie. Today, when we got to the Montreal airport, there was this couple. They were arguing with the the airline. They were like, they only had like 15 minutes to get on their plane. And in Montreal, as you may remember, you have to go through you go through security like you would anywhere, but then you have to go through customs on the American side, you know, and. The, they wouldn't let them check in, and they were blaming their cab. And I told Charles, I was like, "Wow." Well, Charles had made a comment because they were probably they looked uh, like looking at them. I figured they were Jewish. <laughs> we both did. Well, they were definitely Jewish. He was wearing uh, the old suit. Yeah, they were. He had a yarmulke on you. No, he didn't have a yarmulke. Yeah, he had the little thing, the beard. The he, had the beard. he was all dressed in black with the one no, dress suit. No, he wasn't that. He wasn't hat. orthodox. He had a fur hat. On. He, had, he didn't was, have the fur hat. She was but. wearing the wig, the yeah, orthodox wig. They were Jewish. They were definitely Jewish. So yeah, Charles was know. like, "Oh, Jews," and I was like, "What?" Because you know, I have to stand up for my people. And <laughs> Your people. <laughs> She's going to hell for that. <laughs> no, I'm not. She's so that, I'm like, what? My dad is, has missed more flights than anybody I know, but he wouldn't, like, you know, he just wouldn't argue with them. Because they were arguing. They were like, look, it's not our fault. It's our cab's fault. He got us here late. <laughs> they were like, they were like, you, sir, you only have 15 minutes to get on your flight. That's not enough time to get through security and customs. You can't blame your cab driver. And I was like, what? Charles was like, what would your dad say? I was like, I think he would just be like, what flight can you get? I don't. I think he would just resign himself. I don't think he would be arguing in front of the whole airport. How many flights have you missed out in your life? Look at his face. It says everything. <laughs> Does it mean me? You missed me? It's more than two, more, more than two. ten. <laughs> Not ten. <laughs> Definitely more than ten. Really? The best one was that time in Tampa. He just confessed to us without even asking that he was like at the Vegas airport. I mean, this is like serious. 
like using one. slot machines and almost missed his flight. <laughs> but I was on a run. Exactly. This is a degenerate gambler. <laughs> no, but the best one though was in Tampa. I was with with, uh, with grandma, with uh, my mother, mm. and we, we we were getting ready to go to the airport. We, but this we, is like in 1979, right? Yeah, it's a long time ago. But uh, but mm. we were driving, we were driving to get to the Tampa airport. And we see a grove of orange trees right along the street, right, and their oranges are falling down. And my mother goes, "Oh my gosh, I can't believe they have all these oranges. Just let them go in the way." So we stopped to start picking them. Just Wait, you were an active participant, or you were like, Ma, come on, we gotta get going. Well, you know, or were you point. like, Oh my god, look how big this one is, and it's so orange! <laughs> so we started Benny! picking oranges. Sit down, Benny! So we started picking oranges. We had like two boxes of oranges. Oh my god. <laughs> and then, of course, you know, your mom was there, and she's over there. Come on, we gotta go, we gotta go. So we get to the airport. It's like that's like before jogging. they had security. <laughs> yeah, well, you could never have done that today. But we were jogging through the airport. It was like an O.J. Simpson scene, you know, jumping over stuff. So I ran ahead to try to get. Oh, the... you mean O.J. reference, like when he was actually? Yeah, when he was like okay. before, before he got. I thought you meant like you were hurting people <laughs> <laughs> or stealing cookies from the commissary. You gotta realize I have two visions of O.J. I got the one where he's jumping. Over I didn't even know who he was. I thought he was an actor who had gone bad, who had gone rogue. I didn't even know he had a career. Yeah, he had a career. So anyway, uh, so we, well, we got there, and then we, and when I got there, they were just closing the gate, and I had to put my foot into the gate so they couldn't close the door. And they were arguing with me, and I said, I'm not taking my foot out until my, my mother gets here. Wow. And she's sick. And here comes Grandma with a box of oranges. It's hard to imagine you <laughs> fighting the good fight. <laughs> Pretty funny. And of course, your mom was really upset the whole time. I I feel like I'm so old that when we come out of a gate, like I'm like you're coming out of that tube, you know, that takes you from the air the airplane to the gate. I I kind of inside I'm like, oh, who's here waiting for me? Like, I'm, I'm that old that I don't remember pre 9 11. Like, or I only remember pre 9 11. Like. I'm like, I get like, kind of like, well, every time, oh, you, shoot, it's just travelers. <laughs> every time I go to the Newark airport, if I go to Newark, I'm always expecting to see my, my father at the end of the, because he was always there. He was always there. Yeah, exactly. And I get uh, a bit choked up. If yeah, I, I know, if I'm, I at, if I'm thing. landing in a place where I'm, ex where I'm meeting somebody, like if I'm landing in Minneapolis, I don't get choked up. But if I'm landing anywhere else, yeah, you know, in York, you expect to, I expect to see my father at the end of the. Uh, yeah, waiting like this, you know, like ah, like <laughs> doing the. I re yeah, like you would, you're so excited to come out. I hate like those terrorists for 9/11. Most of all, for taking away that ability to be able to have family waiting for you at the gate. That put your shoes on. Oh, that and nail clippers. <laughs> shoes is ridiculous. Yeah, the shoes is annoying. Even Fred was annoyed this morning. <laughs> she was like, yeah. No, Papa, no, no, no. <laughs> She's like, it's disgusting. Do you know how many people walk through here? <laughs> Even she was bothered by it. But the worst is when you get out of security. She actually, she said yes when I, once I took mine off. Oh, really? She was like, oh, all right. But the worst is they they get mad at you if you're trying to like get your clothes back on. You know, it's like, oh, move along, move along. And then there was, there's like seats sometimes for people who are elderly where they're doing like a check and you're not allowed to sit there. So it's like, well, um, I need to get my shoes back on and I have nowhere to sit, nowhere to stand. There's people coming through. My, my big annoyance is that they should have like, um, like almost like a, a space available where you can sit and put your shoes on and put your laptop back and kind of get yourself reoriented. That's my, my issue with the security. It's like you feel like you're you're becoming naked there and then it's, then you're like, I have nowhere to get redressed, you know, to dress up again. And it's easier to take clothes on than it is to put on. You need like a little more time to put your clothes back on. Well, I try to, I always try to wear something simple when I'm traveling, so. Like sweatpants and slippers. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you can't do it, but I try to put stuff that I can. Well, one of the best things is to wear a, a, a regular jacket that has pockets, so you can put all your stuff inside the jacket. And 
you take the jacket and put it on the, on the carriage, and then you get... Because one of the problems I had one time is I took my cell phone, I put it into the little thing there, and somebody else had the exact same cell phone I did. I don't know. So I took his cell phone, he took mine, I started getting calls from Mexico. And <laughs>